Little People Big Dreams Malala Yousafzai, written by Maria Isabel Sanchez Vergara, illustrated by Manal Mirza. In the beautiful Swat Valley in Pakistan lived a Muslim girl called Malala. Her home was humble, and so was the school for girls her father ran. Malala couldn't wait to grow up, attend class, and discover all her talents. Even though education is every human's right, her mother never had a chance to learn how to read and write. Still, Malala hoped her life would be different. She wanted to prove to everyone that girls can have big dreams too. But Mal Malala's dreams became a nightmare when a violent group called the Taliban took control of her valley. They banned most of the things she liked, from listening to music to taking photographs and even flying kites. The Taliban believed that instead of going to school, girls should get married, cover their bodies from head to toe, and never leave the house without their husbands or brothers. It was like being in prison for doing nothing wrong. In just a heartbeat, the Taliban destroyed hundreds of all girls' schools and made parents scared to send their daughters to class. Malala and the rest of the students wondered what they could do to stop the madness. Maybe the Taliban had bombs and guns, but Malala and her friends had books and pens to fight back with. They decided to raise their voices and speak up about how important it was for their future to attend school. They shared their story on local television and soon Malala was asked to write a diary about her life under Taliban rule for the BBC. She used the name of a heroine from one of her favorite Pashtun tales, Gul Makai. But, the t but for the Taliban, there was nothing scarier than a girl willing to speak up. One day, Malala and two of her friends were shot on their way back home, back home from school. Malala was very badly injured. The whole world cried for her. When Malala woke up, she couldn't recognize her room. She had been taken to a hospital in England, far away from home. But children all over the world had written get well wishes. There was a pile of letters waiting to be read. Malala did not just get better, but stronger and louder. She knew her story was the story of millions of other girls, too. With her father's help, she created a foundation to improve their lives and their education. Two years later, she became the youngest person ever to receive the Nobel Peace Prize. Malala brought with her some brave friends from Pakistan, Nigeria, and Syria who deserved the same recognition. From the White House to refugee camps, Malala traveled the world, speaking up about every child's right to go to school. But as soon as she was settled in her new home in England, it was time for her to attend class. The day she received her degree from the University of Oxford was one of, the ha one of her happiest. Still, the next morning, she woke up ready to fight for all the little Malalas in the world and their right to dream as big as they want. And she will keep doing so.